Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Reggae of Yourself with me, your house, the future man. And people, we got a great artist for you today, the one and only Baba Ross. Greetings, my brother. Yes, yes, bless, bless. Greetings, man. Yes, yeah, man. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much for joining me. It's been a while since we've been talking about getting this interview yeah. done, but yeah. it just never happened. But they said nothing happened before the time, so the moment is now. All right, true. So how are you doing, brother? But then you know, I'm just catch a vibe, see there, you know, like sunshine, you know, we come alive, more yeah. alive when the sun shines. So, you know, it's beautiful it's sunshine beauty. today, yeah? beautiful yeah. sunshine everywhere, all over the country. Yeah, I the, the, the um, most important food, you know. Yes, I, man. I mean that, I mean that in the sense of the word food. Yes, man. Is, it, is that a vitamin D? Yeah. Yes, man, and I heard that it's very important, especially in times yes. like So give thanks. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. All right. So let's get into this and let the people know who Barbaras is. Barbaras, tell us where exactly you're from. We are talking about country, city, village, all the street, if you know, if you want to on the street. <laughs> um, one was slave house. Okay. Mm. One who was slave house between um, Job Lane and St. John's Road. And where is that? Spanish Town, Jamaica. Okay, so you're from yeah. Spanish Town as well. So is that yeah, like, man. is that Spanish Town ghetto or? Um, from one side, yes. From the other side, no. Okay. Like my father, probably some people that call it, what they want to call it, but we have we have some slave land, you know. Okay. Like, same, same. like we get out of the whole slave thing, my yeah. whole family get yeah. a piece of land. Okay. You know, for for some some feet that my great grandma did, you know. One small woman carry yeah. a big a big arm, you know them surely thing that that donkey carry. Yeah, yeah. Donkey drop dead, and she then pick up the sitting and give to her. Yeah. And she carried it all the way. Wow. Yeah. Because you know what go with them with like um Kian. Yeah. Thank you to carry Kian from the sitting there. You know, yeah, man, on the you back. Know, <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, to carry all the way. And for that now as a present. Yeah. Um, slave master give her a piece of land. Oh wow. You now the same piece of land we have all now, don't you know, um Spanish town there. Oh you know, okay. start on Job Lane and go on to, to John's Road. All you right. Know? So, yeah, that's my born. <laughs> and and you grew up in Spanish Town as well until you migrate from Germany. I went, I went to Crescent School. Okay. In Spanish Town. Yeah. Um, and I left that at twelve. Yeah. You know? Can you give me then. give me? I got I got a quest. I got a question that I need to ask you about that. Mm -hmm. Um, can you give me a roughly what? Here it was when you was growing up in Spanish Town. You're talking about the sixties. Sixties. Yeah. So, um, can you remember anything about nineteen sixty two? No, no, no. Too young <laughs> then. <laughs> okay. Too young then. All right. Um, I can remember. Um, sixty four, sixty six. All right. Are so from on anything from this or yeah. All right. The reason why the reason why I'm asking you this is because we mentioned um, Spanish Town and I asked you mm -hmm. about ghetto and stuff in there. I was told that up until 1962, the amount of violence that been coming out of um, Kingston in particular, because that's mm -hmm. always known as like the most um, place where the most violence take place before it leading to Montego Bay and West Milan yeah. over the last so much years. Whenever I grew up in the countryside, the center and up in the hills, Brownstone, mm -hmm. Middle Boxton side. And um, when I was growing up, most of the time when people heard about real violence and shooting, uh -huh. though it happened where we come I from, but so. <laughs> really, but it was always about Kingston. I mm -hmm. heard that up until 1962 when Jamaica so-called became independent and i'm going to say so-called because i think yeah, yeah. It's still not independent still i heard different. that up, up until then um kingston was not as violent was it really was it violent in when you in the days when you was growing up there 
Yeah, we saw always hear about things happening in Kingston, but mm -hmm. um, there was more things brewing in St. John's Road. Yeah. You know, like little things where like people started to separate and a certain way, but there wasn't a bad vibe between Kingston and Spanish Town, but there was a something in the air for a while. Yeah. You know, um, and that, that come out laid, laid down probably when I start to understand and look around, you know what I mean? Yeah. And see that, like things used to happen, but it was always here, say, because when yeah. you used to see it. Did, okay, you know? okay, all right. Because, um, you know, I'm just trying to, more people are talk about, are talk to who got more experience about what Jamaica was like um, before 1962. Um, I try to, whenever I speak to somebody who kind of got any understanding I, about anything to do with that, I always try to find out from their side, their point of view, yeah, yeah. to see if everybody shared the same story or the same views or yeah, yeah. been taught the same yeah, yeah. thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why I'm asking you that. So growing up in there, um, at what point did you start actually singing? I never started, like singing came after I came here. Yeah. Oh, when before you came that, to the it UK. was, huh? When I came to the UK, yeah. Yeah. Because before that, I was a quiet, quiet youth. You yeah. Know? Um, individualist, like take days off school and go, go, um, go canal bank by myself, catch fish and yeah. dig, up, dig up sitting and rare and, and, and boil and cook and I read that for the day. You know? <laughs> I was more on a spiritual journey from then because yes. like, I used to watch the sun and know when it's time to go to catch the school coming, catch the school coming down. Yeah. Or if I decide to go to school in the second half of the day, I would watch the sun and know, say, now is the time, this is 12 o'clock. Yeah. Now is the time to catch the second half for going and give them an excuse. Or miss the first morning, you know. So is that the only the only only music that there was within it? My father was a percussionist. Yeah, you know. Did he play in a band? To... Did he play in a yeah. band? No, he's let me sit down with with um some Indian and some Rasta man, some bearded man and Rare and sit yeah. and sing Rare all night till me go and sleep and wake up when they're ready to carry me home, you know. And then just there they play. <laughs> Just for yeah. All know? right. Yeah. So like, yeah. we call them, they have a name for them. I suppose you could say them to work out to be um bingy man them, innit? Them oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I do? You can't be that all night. No electric nothing, just so them say man I beat the bingy, them time they say man I beat the bingy drum. Yeah, bingy drum, shaka shaka shaka. And, <laughs> yeah. and ting 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 and pot cover and yeah. You know, buckle. <laughs> I deal with all them, them sitting and everything just like, you know, sometimes them, you go with your parents to do some things and you're thinking, chop, what kind of sitting this? But no, yeah. me, me used to feel comfortable and relaxed and fall yeah. asleep. You know, probably <laughs> lick too thin as well, but fall asleep. Yeah. So, uh, so music is something that came later when you came to the UK. What time we're looking at? We're looking at 67. You came to the UK in 67? Yeah. And um, how old were you at this time? Because uh, that's not yesterday. 12. Wow. So, OK. Uh, so what was that like for you, though, leaving Jamaica in those days? Because from, from what I've heard, is that the England that we know today, even though the discrimination and inequality is still prominent on the scene, unfortunately, I heard that back in the days up until probably about 20, 25, 30 years ago was a whole lot worse than it is today. So what was it like for you leaving Jamaica and coming into in the UK in 1967? I was going to say, is that jumping on the front by into the fire, but like <laughs> what? what? <laughs> like, like them times there. Uh, yeah, England was the place to be, mm -hmm. as far as we heard. Mm -hmm. For that time, as a youth, you know what I mean. Yeah, it was a place to be, and and to be honest, I thought it would be because remember we have land, you know. Yeah, you know what I say, and we don't really have struggle. You yeah. know what I mean. Where my mother come from, like when my father them split up and we go live with my mother. Mm -hmm. That was ghetto. Yeah. With me. Um, 
Well, that was ghetto from people who came from owning land up in um will be there. Yeah. yeah. And end up up, up having to sell to move, move to um what do you call it? Breton. Yeah. And and in the long term, the half the will again there in New York, you know, anyway, from you know, yeah. So it's a process. You know what I say? But that was like ghetto from from that kind of life into a ghetto life. Yeah. You know what I deal with? Yeah. And and so leaving that, right? And coming to England, it was like first thing was it was traumatic. Mm. Can, and, and why was it why was it traumatic for you when you came to England? Because of the surroundings. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even, I didn't want to leave, I didn't want to go. I was like, I'm a child. Daddy sent for you, better life, finish yeah. your schooling, ray, ray, ray. They felt that, they saw that. As, As a you we never see that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me never say I was quite happy to just live my life like how my life was being lived. Yeah. Because like like in my head, I did don't have certain little things in my head already. Yeah. You know, as a youth, you know? Yeah. Because my head was was always on a different height. Yeah. But come out here and look around and first it's the call. And it's like, yeah. that was a problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was the biggest problem. From Sydney, Jamaica to the icebox. Oh Lord. And then they put us, they put us in a school. But it was a it was a um what do you call it? You know when them do when um when some of them women back in the day get, get flat from the council, they put you somewhere, in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, this school was one of those schools. So I've, I've, there's, a, there's a big documentary on television about this school where if you were from certain background, they would have stick you in those school almost like yes, a special education yes, school. Yes. Like William a Penn Secondary. Yeah. In Slough. Let me yeah. put that out there. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there was, it was a big boy school, though. Yeah. Strictly boys. Yeah. All boys school and coming from Jamaica, that was never anything Yo. any boy in Jamaica Yo. wanted to be involved with. You, need Yo. To... you know? Yeah. And there was people from different islands. Mm -hmm. Um there's only two Jamaicans at the time. Yeah. Yeah. But people from different, different islands. Mm -hmm. And and Poland and all these kind of other little places that white people come from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some little um some checks and some you know what I mean, with so it only few of them still so it was it was it was you and um a couple other people from the caribbean and then people who from europe that didn't speak yeah, proper yeah. english yeah, yeah. That, that didn't speak um what they call so-called the queen's english properly so he wasn't yeah, seen as yeah. being intelligent yeah. enough to be mixed with the other people we was all right though the jamaicans was all right because like, yeah we could speak english you know yeah, yeah understand, understandable. Yeah. I so get it was I all get, right. Yeah, I get but, but I get them, that. Them, them was like, hey, but you, don't, don't do. you know, no disrespect to them still, but yeah, so it was, you know, they had to have special classes as well. Yeah, you know? but then, um, but you still wasn't in a much greater position than them because, oh, like, that's a, a lot of people, that, like, a lot of people that I ever them. talk about this is talking about being from the Caribbean. And be, you straight away you've been viewed as an underachiever, and then you were allowed to go to only a certain school. You couldn't just say, "Boy, they, they put special school for this." Yeah, special, special school. school for that. Yeah, and it's then and it it in itself is like discrimination. You know what I mean? Yo, in itself. that's a big diss. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> how did how did my discrimination? <laughs> what a big diss. <laughs> how did you how did you how did you cope with that though? Did you do well when you go there or what? Yo, know, to be honest, mm -hmm. like it was a problem for me, you know? Yeah. Like, like personally, mm -hmm. parents I never know. Calm, it wasn't like my dad was look after my son. Mm -hmm. Full stop. As in schooling, money, blah, blah, blah. That was it, done their so. Yeah. Let me say done that's it, done their so. So there's no, you're never going to know what's inside of me. Yeah. yeah but them times I used to struggle with that, you know? You know yeah. what I mean? The teacher them was racist, right? Yeah. Um, all them deal with you a certain way, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and a lot of us used to get in different trouble certain times, but we used to tell them to suck their mother and, 
you know yeah. where the the car. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Excuse the language, because we are yeah, the radio. Excuse, excuse the language, still, <laughs> but but you, you know, know. Say, like those were the days. That's like um, it's not an excuse, but that that's what that memory brought out of me just now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, just to show yeah. you how how much that I was having a problem with that. You know what I mean? Yes. Like the difference of the 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 how oh, because we have a teacher them over so we was all right. all right. We used to get some rotten lick and you know, we mess around. But yeah. the teacher them was all right. They could you could talk to them and they were so oh yes you can. They don't want to know nothing. They just want to know your business really. Yeah. But every time you talk to them, they want to know how's mom, what mom job does your mom do, what job does your father do, how many of you live in the house. You know, you know what I say? Yeah, and yeah. How that are, there was the questions you always end up being asked by more than one of them. You know? <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. I watch some films sometimes when they got a pro they got a program set aside and they got doctors and Ray Ray, you got all these people in the house. You ever see what's the film called? What is the film is though? They fling a bunch of youths in a house and they use them of all special abilities and they got different people looking out for them and the government yeah. just controlling everything. You may do it. Sometimes I like, wonder like, how like in, a, those... like in a care room. Huh? No, not a care room, just a project. Like it's a project. Bring okay. these people, you know, like, like one like, in America and, called Brat Camp. Have you seen the one in America called Brat Camp where a kid that got like behavior issue, they get all of them and throw them in this massive in this house and then they give them different challenges every day and yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. That's why you come in like you come in like, you know what I mean? We was what was happening there mm -hmm. was coming direct from the government. Yeah, you know, I with that as a project, like somebody, somebody in the top top was really looking. Yes, how was how was William Penn school been for the How are these? What's his progress? Is he good? Was he? Can we induct them in society, or can we? Do we have to send them back? You know, them kind of yeah, them kind of vibes there. So they put in there to monitor you. It's like being in the Big Brother house. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, not everybody used to see it. You know, yeah. me, but like certain things to keep inside of you. You know. Yeah, because you know, it it sounded too much like like a film. Yeah, you know? yeah. Man. But that's where the films are inspired from. I think we spent a year there, and then yeah, you know we had music. Mm -hmm. Right, I've got a black mark on my finger here. Mm -hmm. Right, it's been there all my when I all my, when I when I got this, like. It was a music room. The music room was outside the actual school. Mm -hmm. And that's where we used to go and learn. Is it Bach? And you know them kind of, what do you call it? Orchestral kind of. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah? yeah. And I hated music. I hated it. When time it's time to go for music, I used to hang about and they used to come out and call me to come in, you know? You um, didn't like you didn't like I hated you didn't, music. You didn't like music in general or that kind of music. I, I, I have I wasn't I didn't differentiate at the time. Yeah, you just you know? went into music. I just music, we never like music, see. Yeah. Um, that doesn't mean I didn't like hearing things on the radio, mm -hmm. like songs and whatever, whatever. But yeah. but uh, end of end of term now, where we was gonna go to another school. Yeah. Yeah, because we spent a year there, induction and whatever. Yeah. And we was all outside flinging bricks at the school car. It wasn't just me, everybody here to the yeah. So we're flinging bricks and stones at the um windows, mashing the windows and them thing there. And yeah. we pick up a big stone and we yeah. just saw here after our window. I mean yeah. in a smash, but when we look, the stone I swing from my finger like this. Uh -huh. like this. Yeah, when we look at that stone, it's a piece of wood with a nail in it. You take up and the, and the nail, <laughs> the nail in on my finger. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> like you didn't show me something, you know? Yeah. Right. Wow. I still got, I still got it there. I still got the mark there. It's like a black mark. Yeah. And that's a reminder of how you must not try to break the law or do anything bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mash up the music room, you know. And look for me now. Look for me there now. Mm. In, in as much as loving music and doing it for the love of it, you so, know. From did, there to here. Did like, you learn any kind of music while you was there? I know you didn't like it, but did you learn to play an instrument? You play a guitar now and stuff. Did you learn? I play to play everything now. There? I play everything now. All right. Did you learn any, any wind, in, wind instrument at the 
But I can play, I can hold a tune on anything. Yeah, you know? did you play any instrument while it was there? Did you learn to play any instrument there? Um, flute. Flute, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. So, all of these things happened. Got no interest in music up until no interest. in those times. And I think, were you in, you were a teenager by now, right? Them times, yeah, I was 13. Okay. So, at what stage did you, um, did you start to think that I want to play some music and get into music and why? When I was <clears throat> 16. Mm -hmm. How did this happen? We, so, we had a little, a little sound system in the club, club called Orchard that we used to have. And this um, is, where was this, London or Reading? In Slough. In Slough, okay. Yeah, Slough. So, um, and we used to go there like Wednesday, you know what I mean, probably Saturday or something. And we started to start, they started to look at Wednesday night club, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, one night we just pick up the mic. Yeah. <laughs> you know the mic, they just, yeah. Come a bridge and do it. The other guy there, and then, in my chat, be a chat. And then there's a, yeah. Like, so one night I pick up the mic, I just pick up the mic mm -hmm. and start talking. In my head, it's like, I was, you know, like say, if you come to you, you never heard me before. Yeah. And I'm, I'm start DJ and you start think, weird. You know, that's how I was thinking about me. At yeah, the time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that was up sometimes, you see, when you open your mouth and you hear, weird. When so I come out of your mouth and you hear, it's like, two of you. You, you, know, you, know, you, surprise, you, you surprise yourself. You surprise yeah. yourself. Yeah. You know, and, and the, the bridge of them say, yo! such and such and such and such yeah and and like but then it was just for fun then after that it was for fun yeah you know we start running every wednesday we get we go down with records and start running and dj and and tell my motto him shoes look like whatever and him shirt need for with this and yeah you know him head cock off like where start, start and, clashing you know? start clashing now <laughs> yeah. of course I thought, all right, call it what you will. But he was cussing then at the time, you know? <laughs> yeah. Cussing, cuss half all the girl and Rary and... Yeah. And, yeah, man. But it's jokes. It was it was jokes. Yeah, man. Joke and, and the funniest cuss, car. Yeah, some man. might come up with some things, you know, where that come from. And every man up on the floor, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. So Funniest like, lyrics, like some professor not kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make up stories. See? And you know, so that's missing. Yes, man, it's missing big time for true. And I think that's why when Golly Bob came on the scene a few years ago, people mm -hmm. were so um, yeah, excited yeah, yeah. and love it. And yeah, then this guy, was, this guy who sing that song as well, um, Love My Fatty. And all yeah, of yeah, things, yeah. You know, yeah. because <laughs> these are the kind of things that's missing from then? music. Huh? Oh, I, I will sing that, Love My Fatty. Um, um, I think it's called Stylex. Yes, Stylex. That's it's it. a guy called Stylex. Yeah. You know what I mean? So them, those kind of thing that is missing from the um, dance yeah. hall in particular, because he used to bring so much fun where people used to yeah. just be able to laugh and enjoy themselves. Yeah. That yeah. was before everything was about gun and stabbing yeah. and stuff but that ruined the music. <laughs> and even them back in the day, like even the gunman, them why here not see, no? Yes, yeah. man, of course. Even they because, want to hear because they walk on the screw face every day. When they hear them, I make them laugh. Now they feel yeah, good. Man. You know? Yes, man. As a professor, that's an absolute genius at that. Papa, man. Papa, papa, papa. You know? Papa, papa. Joke them down, done, because you can go watch it now. Yeah, I even now, them. I go on YouTube now and watch Professor Nuts shows from back in the days and yes. listen to his cassette. I remember Enjoy. having Professor Nuts cassette as a youth growing up in Jamaica, and even when it burst, I'm trying to like mend it because it is too sweet. You know what I mean? The lyrics of is just like literally too, too much sweet. Though. Yeah, man. So, so, so that's why you started out and then doing it for fun, and then for fun, yeah, yeah. So where where did this um idea came from? That actually, you know what? I feel like I want to do this for more than just fun. I'm actually serious about this. When did that happen? I became serious about that. Um, this is years later, though. Mm -hmm. Three, four years later. Yeah. Because from being in the youth club, yeah, went to 
finding wood, building sites, yeah, building speakers, putting money together, buy a speaker to put in there, building boxes. Sorry, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, going to, I know different different people. Um, mm -hmm. to create um, what's the name now? Chris Tobbies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you named Tobbies? Mm -hmm. The time that he was established, yeah, he was a youth, yeah, you no, know? because he's younger than me still, yeah. Right? And he, he built we build, build we are, um, a preamp, you know, yeah. So, boom, upset a sound and dre sound and this sound and yeah. that sound and um, quite a few sounds, yeah. Got to a level where he was serious about serious about it, you know. Yeah. And, and but up to now I wouldn't even write, I still wasn't writing lyrics, you know? Yeah. You know? Like I'd write down something just so I could remember it. Mm -hmm. Like to, to remind me about that tune. But yeah. not consciously sit down and write a verse and a chorus and a you know? But yeah. Just something like like if I catch a vibe right now, I'm a DJ, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna forget this later, you know. But nowadays I just go on the phone and go, hey, hey, you know it go. Vice then, record. Then this is just pen and paper. Like, yeah. You know, not actually. So if I say right, I still wasn't writing lyrics. Really, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? On that level there. Um, this is still back to like meeting other songs, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Going playing around the country. You know, it was nice. It, that was serious. It was nice. It was yeah, yeah. It was it was proper nice. That's why that's all right now. You see, it's all right now. Yeah. All that I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yo, may I say, bring in the youth man, come in on me and give me a mic and give me a mic and we'll see what I want. Yeah? Yeah. So uh, right now, at the end of the day, you have to go primary school and you have to go junior school mm -hmm. and you have to go college. You know, them used to go to college for five minutes and think them know everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. you see them with that youth. You might go run out some, sometime or the other, you know, but remember, me have one from the 70s. So we have more, more foundation to join. Where is it? I have a 50, you know, Jews 50 years worth of knowledge. Dance and, eh? I have a 50 years worth of knowledge. Yo, <laughs> we go past this. Me feel, you help me feel? Me feel. Yeah. We should start a little thing like where we have sound system once or two times a week and bring you with them in. Yeah. yeah. Because that's how you're going to see real people are not not i mean anybody can do anything i mean you can do anything but it don't mean say we're supposed to be doing anything so we, are the, we can play drums we play mm -hmm. guitar you know what i mean i'm more comfortable on the drums yeah you know what I, mean? I can play like a little piano you mean yeah. I i'm more comfortable on the drums so so if i had a choice now to say yeah i'm gonna just this is what i'm gonna be i'm gonna just be a drummer you know what yeah. I mean? because that i'm supposed to i felt that i'm coming from percussion you yeah. know them with eh? mm. yeah, so I, I feel more, you know, but but yet I can do anything. Yeah, I can produce, I can do, yeah, but me and you both know the best production is when you're in you're in there and your engineer is in here. When is you I run back and forth? Yeah, man, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, them days is like it was it was a fast progression. Yeah, yeah. And and this interview is not long enough for me to tell the bits in between. You know, really, yeah, but I skip going. forward to when when I um we got to a level where my man just died the other day. Um Lee Perry. Yeah, yeah. We had direct contact with Lee Perry. Lee right? Scratch Perry, you got direct yes. contact with Lee Scratch Perry. Yes, we have a bridge name, a white guy yeah. called Mick, Mick Robinson. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we was we was in a home together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we just love reggae music from days like, you know, like Radigan story. Yeah. A mixed story that, you know, me and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he went beyond the call of duty and he contact Scratch Perry. Yeah. And we used to get all his music before anybody else. Okay. See? Yeah. The first 12 inch, mm -hmm. right? Called Sexy Natty. We get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We have um, crying over you. Um, you know, when the music start, you know, and, and we yeah. have that, he scratch Perry. Yeah. Only them days it wasn't, whenever you used to have the sound name in it, we just used to have the tune weeks and months before everybody else. That was a dog plate. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, the duplet was a pre release something, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? Playing it before anybody else, yeah. I got I can't play that because it's brand new. Sorry, yeah. you know, brand new is before new, we just brand, yeah. And the new will come when it release, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's, that's where I'm coming from, like. Yeah, you know, when you see me on stage and think, don't no, think I just some or you come up and some you may know, with like school go man, we got school man, we got, we got music school man, we got like DJ school, you know? Yeah. And, and like you Rai and you know, um live up the road from me when when you know, um I Rai and yeah. big youth and you know, a big you just dominate me still from him come with him first thing. I him come listening to everybody, but from here, busy, you know, start listening to big you. Okay, so <laughs> so big youth. So was that was big youth living in the UK or Jamaica then? Big you was all over the place then, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Big you was he was I think he was over here for a while, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I was, see, was, I seen him, I met him a couple of times as well, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Grill original yeah. foundation artist, and as you mentioned, Lee Scratch Perry, man, may yeah. rest, may rest in peace. And you know, Seriously. thanks the events for all of the great thing that he bring to reggae yeah. music as well. You know what I mean? For other music too, you know? Huh? Because for other music too. Because yeah, yeah, I know he music. inspired most mo yeah. most hip hop, R and B, yeah. loads of different things. Um, what's, it, what's that music them over here? Um, jungle, not jungle. Um. Drum and bass, you know, house music. Drum, yeah, drum and bass. Yeah, yeah. I um, mean, house, you know what I mean? Inspire, yeah. inspire the whole of that. Yeah. Because them man use a directly sample of him thing them. Yeah, you know yeah, what that's, what I, that's what I heard, yeah. Yeah, film steppers, you know, him steppers. Do, yeah. Do, do, and the sample of that, you know what I mean? And the Hyatt. Yeah. My man always had, always had um, a phased Hyatt. Yeah. Most of get a, my man is like a, like um Fiesa yeah on his ayats and yeah what's a mad synth in that the music if you, oh, if you right. listen to the free music in stereo I make the stereo them stay there and yeah and stand so long and, and listen star yeah pack cover everything in there yeah man great producer man great yeah. great producer and all that was with an eight track mm, eight track mixer all right he grew he got obviously he got money and rare 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 yeah but they're super hip the album yeah. there that a yeah, truck. Yeah, wow. See? Um, it's an incredible, it's an incredible producer. No computer neither. You know? Yeah, he it's said it's he was uh, absolutely a real genius, you know what I mean? And I think, you know, yeah, man, bless him for everything that he left to us, musicians. I didn't want to inspire me. I didn't want to give me the inspiration, huh? Mm -hmm. Because the artists them that inspired me only inspired me when they was being produced by Scratch. Yeah. Like Spear, Marley. Um we'll find them the uh when name um we used to war with Iroy. Um, jazz Prince Jazz Bob. All them one day. And Jazz Bob the DJ. You know? But the way <laughs> Scratch produced him. Yeah. And oh everything, you know what I mean? Everything fall into place. <laughs> yeah, everything just I didn't want to get my inspiration from you. Like, so so then you you move on you move on to all of this thing and then start making hold on hold on here god uh, no no i did, I no, did is that, is that a helicopter helicopter okay yeah so oh. you move on to all of this at what stage then because like i've seen you play quite a few times you know you and your band at what stage did you take it became so serious about music ah, that you even get your pretty band Upset at the decision was now mm -hmm. um, to get dub, keep getting dub was costing us. Mm -hmm. So, a plan I made mm -hmm. was to put, put it all together because then there used to be a band in Slough that was playing. Because I grew up with some bands that where all the guy, the guy that's playing bass for, um, you know, remember a tune called Mind Blowing Decisions, cause his head on. You know, yeah. Yeah, 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 always and forever. That the group, yeah, man, no, no, song yeah. he ended up being the bass player for you know. So then him broke up, the band broke up. Yeah, he went to America with them, and yeah. there's a guy that used to play 
You used to sit down and watch him play, play, play drum stand, and one day me just say, let me have a go, and me just sit down and start playing the drum. Yeah. See? Right? And that made me decide now, you know what? We are, I play drum, he play this, he play that. We can put a band together and go to a studio and produce our own music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So even, so even if anybody scratch anybody, give a tune to other people, then can't get tune to nobody because it's our tune. Yeah. See? And we went and we recorded three tunes, four tunes. Yeah. You know, at, at some studio in Kingston, some underground studio in Kingston. Yeah. Yeah. And this white guy now that his name's Mick Robinson, that was in contact with my my man. He produced, he produced us, you know? Okay. And it sounded just like Scratch Berry Tarati Cup. <laughs> when I hear we say to them. Yeah. And couple 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 of months after that, the band start take off more than the sound. Yeah. So cause cause one and two man drop out of the sound and rare, rare, rare. I was like the soul, I was running the sound. The sound was at my yard, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um there's a story in that as well, but the sound was at my yard. Mm-hmm. Um it wasn't getting to play. Mm-hmm. You know, I wasn't booking, I wasn't booking places, I wasn't putting on shows, I wasn't, I was just we were just going to itching and all them places go play music live. You know? Mm-hmm. Because that kind of that's when that took over my life. Okay. You know? Yeah. And um that carried on for years until I ended up stuck, you know? Yeah. Um there's more to it, but we're gonna make you ask some more questions. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, so basically, so they upset the band been going for how long now? No, we never call it upset, we call it majestic. Yeah, majestic. Yeah, that's it. Of from the upset of sound. Upset was the sound, and then majestic because uh, I've seen you guys um, playing quite a few times. You know, what I mean, got a mm-hmm. wicked, wicked bass player as well. Yes, I met him, <laughs> met him a few times in a few places. Yeah, yeah two so, the foundation, man. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah. So you guys, how long have you guys um been playing majestic? Me and Tony, um, from. About 30 years. About 30 um, years. <laughs> yeah. And but I took time out for 20 years. So you only been yeah. going for 10? Huh? So you took time out for 20 out of that 30. Is, no, we went we went for about five years. Yeah. Yeah. And then we stopped because like the drummer left the band. Because initially we yeah. started off the band, I was the drummer. Okay. You know, and and one of the guys that used to sing on the mic and Ray Ray, mm-hmm. like we give let, let him be the singer and, and you know we, um we was using another guy, mm-hmm. but the guy went off and started his own little band, mm-hmm. right? And so um we met Tony, yeah, you know, um and he was just starting to get you know mm-hmm. get the vibes in it um and just his vibes is what sold it. It was his skill as a bass man at the time. Yeah, it's just his vibes just sold him, sold him to us, and like mm-hmm. we like we started working with him. I mean, we used to practice nearly every day of the week. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, we used to be tight. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, but then um, we had a little differences between me and the singer. Yeah, and and it's my band, mm-hmm. so who's gonna walk? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And it was all the thing was set up in my house mm-hmm. as well. So, you know, yeah. um, so I had to find the drummer fast, you know? Yeah. So I started using different, different people, mm-hmm. you know, um, teaching some guy. He could yeah. play, but he needed to, you know? Um, mm-hmm. So we, there was always somebody whenever we got a gig to play. So sometimes this guy played, and sometimes that guy played. Mm-hmm. And then you heard, we heard a Misty in Roots. What's it called? Misty, Misty in Roots. It sounds familiar to me, but... Yeah. Misty in Roots is about as old as Aswad. Okay. Yeah. When Aswad was being commercial with Don't Turn Around. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Misty, Misty was being Roots with Oh Long, Ja 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 Ja, Oh Long. Yeah, so there's like one, he was, there was 
they, they, they didn't swap because we're still playing their own music, but they were yeah. more commercial. Mm-hmm. So they're more probably going to know that. Mis- Misty is like where I am now, underground, isn't it? Really, I'm not up. Yeah? Okay, up to yeah. me and you know, mm-hmm. underground. We like it like that. And yeah. they, they kind of, because during all the, that's what I'm saying, there's so much, so much to tell. Mm-hmm. Like during the sound system era, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I used to go when Misty, Misty was playing. Yeah, and you know, any chance you get to go on the mic and stage and, yeah. and you know, and then we used to sit down and play some percussion with them, mm-hmm. you know? So of their inspiration, yeah, yeah. Misty, let it be said, we put it out there, Misty them, of their inspiration, Majestic came. Yeah. You know, and they was, they was still knowing what was going on because when we was, well, I thought we was good enough to at least play live, mm-hmm. Misty took us on tour with them. Oh, you know? that's good, man. That happened for a couple of years. Yeah. You know, um, cause we was good. We was, we was already, we was bedroom. I just, yeah. I've got a band now. So, you yeah. know I mean? Just come. So, you know, when we start, start give us our first money, first good money, yeah. you know what I mean? Then they the children the for that good money, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Only thirty years ago. <laughs> yeah, children for that good money. People are still playing for that unless now. <laughs> so you see, thirty years know? later. So so it's like, yeah, that's what that. After after that, there were five years, like we found a band. Uh, 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 after a couple of years, so we found a drummer mm-hmm. who became the main drummer. Mm-hmm. You know, and then that consisted of me, Tony, the drums, keyboard player, mm-hmm. who's Derek, and um, a next dude. Uh, I can't remember his name now. Mm-hmm. Denny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I ended up playing guitar as well. So I had Tony now teach me how to play guitar, to play a couple of chords. Yeah. I buy a guitar and I get up. Yo, my mad, you know. I get up every day and don't bother me. As long as I have my weed, I have a little something, not even food, I drink. I yeah. mean, that on a guitar all day, you know. <laughs> Let me think about it now. Mad. <laughs> because yeah. we need the guitarist. We need yeah, a but, but eh? you did the right thing because obviously self reliance is the best you quality. See, yeah. Every time, because I was determined, anyone to jump out, me up. Even if Tony, the bass man gone, give me a bass, me learn how to play a bass. Because I was yes. determined for the majestic to, 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 to take See it. home foundation, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um because there's so much to say, you know, and you couldn't you couldn't say that like in the way I want to say it on a sound system. Yeah. You know, even though sound system is a learning phase, it's a it's something that carries you and makes you prepared, give you all the tools. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Cause like we need not ask you. May I tell you, past stage, sometimes we forget lyrics and you know, we have to make up new lyrics there and dead. Yes, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah, say man. That happened to the best of us. So yeah, say man. Yo, star. Sometimes and dead now the people crowd and the whole the first time they hear you. Yeah, you I know, know, and, bad now, look funny. I'm gonna look at them star. And, and also crowd. one of the one of the one of the greatest joy about that is. When you're singing your own song, when you do something like that, it look like you've done it deliberately. It's just a style. Okay. It's just fun. And then pick up okay. the chorus down the road and come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I got that many times. The girls, them in my bands always telling me, it's like sometimes when the song finishes, they turn on, they give me a little smile and like, <laughs> future. <laughs> Forget the lyrics. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that is, that is um, I mean, if I get a penny for every time I do that, that's why I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad that I actually sing my own songs. Like whenever I go yeah. Performing my own lyrics. I <laughs> mean, my middle pull it up and formulate it and come again. Run it yeah, man. But I want to tell you that i done that before. <laughs> and I pull it up and then go back and start again and I get to the same spot and forget it as well. Like I don't do the same thing. And it's the same song that I've sung so many times. I just <laughs> can't pick up that verse. And no. it's like when that song finished and I did like three songs later, I'm thinking. That's the verse Somebody, that was meant to yeah. come in there. I find I find myself singing a verse from a completely different song. Mm-hmm. Or a few mm-hmm. times I find myself repeating the first verse. <laughs> when, when it's, in the first verse again. 
That's the excuse we tell you. We tell the excuse we tell the drummer, you know. But we have a good drummer still, you know. The drummer, him read me. Yeah. You know, him yeah, read man. me. Mm -hmm. Him read me well, you know. Yeah, man. And, and so, so with that in mind now, yeah. we just freestyle. When time we go out there, whatever the vibes is. Yeah, man. <laughs> It yes, go yes, with, car, car inspiration come all the time still, you know. You have your songs to do and thing. But sometimes some inspiration lick you from somewhere you're like, you know what? Yeah, some lyrics and, and it's a good thing it's being recorded, because you now remember that tomorrow. I know. Well, the thing is like when we um we talk about inspiration, very often I'm on stage and something that I'm doing and talking about on stage or end up doing like an a cappella. That wasn't part of the performance no. that we had planned, you know. But I think sometimes music you just need to go in with natural flow of what's going on around you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's but just it takes you over, it takes you over still, you know. Yeah, because you don't want to become manufactured and get too caught into that um straight thing that you say you was in rears release um mm. releasing religiously. So sometimes I go to rehearsal, you know. When mm -hmm. I go to rehearsal, sometimes I'm in the rehearsal room, jumping up and down like I'm on stage and running from one end to the other. You know, when I come out there, I'm sweating like nobody business, you know. <laughs> so, so sometimes we just there rehearsal and the music just hit me just like when we're on stage. Yeah. And we just put on a show for the people, for the rest of the band members. <laughs> <laughs> just me and the band in a rehearsal and we just have to put on a show and perform like with the band stage in front of people. Yes. Natural, natural. Yeah, because sometimes when you rehearse as well, you just picture yourself out on a certain stage. Yeah, where yeah, you know, that's your rehearse, isn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah. That's yeah, your rehearse. Yeah, man. So it is a, it is a, music is such a great thing. And I think we are very privileged to be able to be yeah. handed this, Best. this Best. weapon, this weapon of positivity and mm. love, you know, to Best. go and spread it to try to combat the negativity that's been going mm. on around the world, you know? Me think, me seem to think that everything that I go on when them lock down people and rare, rare, we feel, them I say, the entertainment industry and rare, rare and such, we feel, I don't know, maybe I'm being biased. Mm. I'm feeling, you know, we feel that I know music, them track, them are cut down. Because when you think of how much show I know I do, when you say I know I may track about Rastafari. Yes, man. Right? I know I do, and the words where we are sing. Because yeah. from every time, every time we do a show, I thump, we are thump them in them out, you know. Yes, because we always do show we because we do shows and songs that um is anti system. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so we structure. do song because we are for the we sing with the people for the people and a representation of those without of voice. You yeah. know what I mean? So when we sing songs that represent those without voice that don't get to hear their voice and they, them a voice. they don't like that because they like to keep a certain people quiet, you know what I mean? So I, I so I see I see you, I see what you're saying, you know what I mean? But as it was in That's the beginning, so shall it be in the end, good will always overcome evil, you know. So we just have to just Natural. stay with it. Naturally. 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 Just stay with it, you know. There's giving up is never an option, you know. Yes, yes. Yes, we are music is a mission, not a competition. We're not competing See? with them, we're just on the mission of yeah. spreading positivity. Mission you know? can't stop. Yes, man. You know, I saw it, it, it anyway. Like I said, back to back to <laughs> the question, though. Know? Yeah. Um I took out 20 years, you know. Yeah. Um, which is another story in, in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um and Moved to London. This I'm talking about ten years ago now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I kind of Lego everything mm -hmm. where I was because, like the the the, the you know, sometimes your surroundings can can destroy or destroy your vibration. You know. Yeah, naturally. Oh, so I left out. I come up here mm -hmm. and decided to start all over again, like with the band wise. So you're talking about good. A good 20 years when Majestic was off the road. Yeah. You know? I um, mean, that 20 years, I was still doing um, shows here and shows there. You know? Um, yeah. Party. You know, sound system, I got back into that again. Mm -hmm. You know? But then I was more more DJing than MCing to put yeah. different thoughts yeah. on it. Even though DJing is what we call it, but whatever. But I was more DJing than MCing. You know? Yeah. Um, but then from a come up here, you know, I meet a dude, and nothing did I go on, no, nothing did I go on, but yeah, 
you know, go work and gravy and, and decide at the time mm -hmm. I was going to take time out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, have, we, have, we have this little girl here. Yeah. I'm not talking about 10 years. I'm talking about 13 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we decided that, you know what? I don't want this one to grow up the way I grew up or the way the others grew up. Because yeah. one parent needs to be with your child. Yeah. You know? 24 7, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So the conclusion was I'm not going to work. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. After, up from 18 months, 18 months, mm -hmm. um, it was me and her. Yeah. Like every day, cook food, rare, rare, mm -hmm. take, her to, take, take her to school. Big, she's a big school now. And it's yeah. that all through her life, you know what I mean? Come inside, yeah. said, This one I go get. Um, what's the word? You know, this one, like, you know, it's like you do a show and you go somewhere one day, mm -hmm. and then next year you get a chance to go there again next year. And you remember last year. Yeah. So you remember, say, Last year, if we did do this tune and do that tune, I yeah. won't do this tune, I won't do that tune. And just make up a set because you've been to that place already. Different anyway, kind of yeah. different kind of nurturing. Yes. You know, based on how how you you them stay, come me up here to them. Yeah. Yeah. And we have two two big girls. Mm -hmm. And based on how them two big girls were grown. Yeah. Like maybe like a new plat. You know them. <laughs> Villa new platform. Yeah, we a new plan for this new yeah. NFT, you know? Yeah. Just um go through the walls and you know, swap certain things and True. You know, make certain things set so reality is is is, is not the same. Yeah. This yeah. One as it was for them. You yeah. Know, which all right could create different thoughts because dozen people might think, well, he didn't do this when we were growing up, or he didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. You know what I I know yeah. better. Even when I didn't think I know, I didn't know. I know what I now know better. Yeah. Of course. Even, yeah. Uh, as I you like me was Mr. Noah, you know? Yeah. Right? But there wasn't Mr. Noah. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know everything. He was Mr. No, nothing at all. <laughs> the seeds, you know? So yeah. so it's like as a as an elder now now, I don't know all, but I know a lot. And no, those, more than I'm you working did. on those, I'm working on the things that I don't know. <laughs> and life is about learning, isn't it? Forever. We learn, we learn more every day, you know? Yeah, forever. It's like, yeah, man. When you slow down, you get older, you slow down a bit. You take take a look at things a little longer. Whereas when you say, it's like, all right. You know, when my age, you get to a certain age now, you. You take more time and look at things from different angles before you make <laughs> a decision. It. You see it. Yeah. yeah. You check all four corners this time round. You oh, check yes, all four man, corners man. before you decide exactly so, which direction. So, and, and you ready for duck? You know, so something will come from around there. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Just through the little time it took you to gain that knowledge. You know what I mean? Just to make a, make a, um, not even second guess yourself, but to make a, no, a, a known action or a known movement. Well, you, know, know, you yeah. live and you learn, right? That's the word you're looking yes. for. You live and you learn, and then you take life and things from yes. that point yes. of view. Natural, yeah. yeah. But like me, I said, mm -hmm. from two thousand thirteen, we start playing. Yeah. And first gig was I had a gig for myself mm -hmm. at One Love. Yeah. Um, and I was supposed to go on a sound. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, Jamie and I was supposed to be on it as well. You know. This was uh, One Love Festival 2000. Was it 2013 or 2012? Because was this at um, the up form in Kent? I can't remember where. Because I, I remember, remember I think that's where I saw you the first time. I think it, it was 12, um, 12 or 13. I think, is it 12 or 13 at the up form? I think it was with yeah. Jamie, Jamie Ari and Lots yeah, of yeah. people. Yeah, but I didn't, I, I switched that though. That was when I decided to start, start, um, to bring start the band, yeah, just to get the timing right because I was meant to do the show by myself, yeah. yeah? But then I contacted the dude. I can't remember his name, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I contacted the dude and he put me onto some girl, yeah. And the girl, 
I have to check my phone. And the girl um, um, sorted it out then because I'm telling you, listen, it's not just me one now. We have a band, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so then they put us on, is it main stage? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, man, cool. You know what I mean? First, that was the first show. That yeah. was the first show. For yeah. the, for the re, re, um, re restarted band. I yeah. had to find, like, I had to find the drummer, um, keyboard player, and a guitarist, yeah. Um, so we got that, got that together. Started rehearsing and acting. You know, acting um, is not there no more. Mm. Um, they stopped in between acting and Halston. Okay. You know, a little um, where factories and whatever are. Where we back in the day we used to cut dub plates mm -hmm. and um, get pressed plastic. <laughs> they opened again, actually. Okay. They open again. Um, they cut plastic again now, but yeah. then they closed down for years. You know. Yeah. Um, that's out acting, acting. I can't remember. Um, off the M forty, A forty, and that little space there before you get to house them. That's still acting, you know. Yeah. Just them press. Make sure I remember the name. Some could I tell you still, but. Um, yeah. It's acting anyway. Somebody else must know what they, they so they're doing plastic there again still. Okay, the yeah. One just still. And the brethren's reason. The brethren's reason. So you can't reason. You can't reason at twenty or thirty pound and a half. Yeah, you man. Know, whatever <laughs> price and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't like Rasta, you know. Yeah, so, man. Um. Yeah. So. So twenty thirteen, you come back on the scene, and now you start yeah. doing the um. Pushing it back, and now you're back on the road again now because everything is oh, open. Gosh, man. Everything is open oh, again, so you're back on the road again. Where is your next show? Um, next show is in. Let me call the place. Uh, we're playing Equinox on the 17th. Um, My diary's on here, so <laughs> yeah, excuse okay. me. It's all, right. it's all right, man. That's cool. Take your time. This Saturday. This this Saturday. Where are you playing this Saturday? Um, where is it? Um, Trowbridge. Trowbridge. Is that Cider yeah. Roman Reggae Festival this Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll see you there because I'm playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You Me said there was a me and Charlie is <laughs> playing there as well. <laughs> see, see, see. Yeah, man. So you, me, and my Fireblaze band will be there, and you and um, Charlie, hey, um, the Jamaica band as well. Um, as as um, this is going off thing for a minute. Oh, as a what's the name contacted you from? Will from? Oh yes, Will from Rhetoric Mill. Yeah. Um, yes, I think we booked to play down there. Um, because yeah. we played there before. We played there. Um, I'm there with you. Huh? Well, I'm spinning tunes. Oh, you're playing down there as well? Yeah. DJ. Well, I'm spinning tunes that time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, are you saying you're playing at this one or you're playing at this one? Um, it's in next month. It's up October. October. Oh, yeah, it's in October. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you see it's a small world, right? Because we <laughs> end up at the same places. You know what I mean? It's supposed to happen like this. Yeah, it's supposed to. Uh, that, that's how I just said it, you know? That's, uh, that may have said, you know? Mm, yeah, it's supposed to be nature, nature, you know, the yeah, Almighty. Too. All right, brother, yeah. listen, yeah, we're running out of time on the show, checking the clock. Where can people find you? Um, all platforms: Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Instagram, iTunes, Twitter, Amazon, YouTube. Um, what do you call it? Email. Uh, Barbaras Lion. At hotmail.com. Um, we didn't even got as far as speaking about the album yet. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. When is that? When is that coming? Because I'm the just album come out come out September last year. Okay, this has been out a year now. You're gonna have to tell us the name of the album and um, where people can get it. <laughs> the album is called Roots and Reality. Mm -hmm. um, it's a culmination of four years work. Mm -hmm. um, and it's available on Spotify, Amazon, anywhere. And it's everywhere. 
And is this album by Barbaras or Majestic? This is an album by the Majestic. Okay, the, so it's the Majestic Roots and Reality. Majestic Roots and Reality, yeah. iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, and anywhere. anywhere. Okay, anywhere it's there. Amazing. Yeah. Um, also, mm -hmm. our new project, Roots Beat Radio. Yeah. Um, it's it hasn't been launched yet, but it's playing. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I've sent you sent you the um. Yeah, man, I've seen the, I've seen it before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it yeah, has been launched yet, but we, you know. Yeah, man. Um, we definitely look a crawling crawling move at the moment. You know. Yeah, man. Um, it's just making connections while it's happening because right. um, we have to set the foundation. I couldn't just come to you and talk to you and say, yeah, no one would do rare, 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 you know. No, no, no. And say, listen, we have rare, rare, rare. So yeah. we'd like to, you know, we had the so Naturally, the naturally, already. of course. Set the foundation and then yes. everything up and running. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Man. Well, Barbaras, it's been a real joy and a real privilege yes. to um, have a raise yes. with you. And I look forward mm -hmm. to see you Saturday at the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we can have a we can have a proper catch up uh, on uh, <laughs> record then. Hey, listen, we have to do something like this again, man. Because, yeah, man, like, definitely like, because it's a reason. You, know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you haven't even touched on, you know. The yeah, man, I know. You know, we got an hour on the radio when we run out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, but. So yeah, man. Personal references. We'll do a part. We'll do. A, we'll do a part two though. We'll do a part <laughs> two though and pick up what's going on and what happened since yeah, on the yeah. album and thing from there. So you know what yeah, I mean. I want to respect, big respect for your time, brother. Yes, and man, I'm not sure. to this soon. Not Thank sure. you so much, yeah. Right? Yeah, man. Blessed yeah. love, my brother. Thank you so much. Yeah.